All right, here I have the uh, AT&T 5620 terminal, uh, colloquially known as a blit terminal, uh, and it's got windowing capabilities. But if you look right now, it's just a pretty bog standard 9600 baud terminal with a really tall display. But if you run the program layers, you get a blank canvas with a little mouse pointer. You can create multiple windows. Let's create a couple here. Both of these are Unix terminals. But the real killer about this is it's not hooked up to a real computer. It's hooked up to a simulator, my 3B2 emulator, running on a PC over there, uh, connected over a very long serial cable. Um, and the emulator is providing the base operating system that runs the layers uh, program, uploads it into the memory of this terminal, and the terminal takes over and runs a local copy. So there isn't too much you can do with it right now. Uh, I don't have a lot of other utilities installed, but you can take a look at some example programs here. I've written this one earlier. The Terminal's a little messed up right now. I don't know whether that's because of the emulator or because of my lousy cabling. We'll find out. But indeed, the program runs. Um, if you want to delete a window, you can pull down this menu, select delete, kill that window, create a new one. A little bit too small so I can move this window I want to put it over here, and I can reshape it just by redrawing it. Become root here and show you the configuration of the emulated 3B2. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, once I have some more programs on here that use the Blit terminal, I'll make use of those and do some more demos, but for now, I think that's about it. Let's just exit out of here. Back to the plain ordinary shell.